A day after Cyprus announced it was going to Brussels to ask for a bailout, it's still unclear exactly how much money it will actually need. Banks in Cyprus are heavily exposed to Greek debt. Cyprus is also looking to Russia for help out of the economic crisis. Al Jazeera's Peter Sharp is in Nicosia. Well, this three-hour meeting gave the president and the minister of economics and the minister of finance an opportunity to debrief not just their own cabinet members, but also the leaders of the opposition uh, on what the real procedure will be uh, over the coming weeks in this application for an EU loan. Now, as the various opposition leaders came out, they were specifically not mentioning figures. So we don't know exactly what uh, the level of this loan is going to be. There were there has been talk of it being as high as 12 billion US dollars. Now that would make it more than half uh, of the country's uh, GDP. Uh, Cyprus is one of the smallest economies uh, in the region uh, and it's facing enormous problems because of this massive overinvestment uh, in the Greek banks. And the clock is ticking on the recapitalization of one of these banks, uh, the Cyprus uh, Popular Bank. Uh, this must uh, ha have funds to stand up for $2.3 billion by Saturday. Uh, there was no specific uh, detail on the state of that loan. What the, what the uh, president, we believe, uh, told uh, the, the opposition leaders was that the bilateral loan with Russia, now this is key to the, to, uh, to the president because it means that uh, Cyprus won't have to come up with the sort of um, budgetary and austerity measures that would be demanded of by Europe. That negotiation for that loan is still being discussed and it's quote at a good stage so that does, that uh, that loan uh, is being discussed and uh, the uh, one one of the uh, opposition leaders said that the, they hope that uh, this would all be put to parliament uh, by the end of uh, end of July to, to allow parliament to vote on the whole issue Let's get an update now on the Greek government because a second member of the Greek cabinet has resigned in as many days. State TV says that Georgios Vernikos, the marine minister, is standing down. The country does have a new finance minister, though. This is him, the prominent economist Yanis Sturnaras. His nickname is Mr. Euro because he was part of the team that negotiated Athens' entry to the single currency. Well, that appointment comes after the first choice that was Vasilis Rapanos quit on Monday after an illness which he said would harm his ability to do the job.